Let's talk about neurotoxins. Brand Botox, I personally don't use. I find it's very heavy and it gives like a frozen look to the face. So I don't like that at all. Do you have one that you prefer or do you find that certain types of patients like one over the other? I think patients that are new to anti-wrinkle injections, I like to start them on Xeomin. So Xeomin is a purified neurotoxin. It doesn't have any accessory proteins. So there's the least likelihood of immunogenicity long-term, meaning developing a negative response to it, like meaning it won't last. Okay. So I like to start all newbies on Xeomin and then we progress from there. What are your thoughts of building up a tolerance to any one particular neurotoxin versus another? That's the reason all newbies should be started on the Xeomin because it's not attached to a protein. It doesn't have any accessory proteins. There's the least likelihood of building up a tolerance to it. I do think if that happens with some patients, sometimes you have to take an anti-wrinkle or neurotoxin holiday. Some work better than others and I always tell patients you should try them all to find the one that works best for you. Disport the onset of action is the fastest so for people that are super sporty and metabolize things quickly that seems to work the best for them like me which is why just sports my favorite <laughs> <laughs> daxify is the newest kid on the block and it doesn't have any accessory proteins it has peptides so the science behind it is super interesting um, the longevity remains to be determined